Well, hello there and welcome here to my channel. I am still a horse, but um, <clears throat> it's not near as bad and um, I'm not coughing and I'm getting, I'm almost 100% better. So um, I decided to go ahead and do this garden tour. Well, I think, like I said, the only thing I got going, going now is me being a horse. So just kind of bear with me as I go through this video. But I didn't want to not put a video because I'm, I'm so excited about fall. So let's get this, let's get this going. <clears throat> As y'all know, I got Venus five traps now. They are doing good. I just transplanted them into something bigger. Most of them got food. And I'm super excited here about this milkweed. It's doing really good since... You know what I think my trick is? Make sure it has enough sun. And I've been only giving it rainwater. Because I know I was doing research about it and they, because they do grow in a while, so they really you know, rely on that rainwater, so I'm treating them like that. So I think that's probably the reason why it's helping them too. But I plan on having them next season and having them out here. So I am super stoked about that. And I think I got like five of them. One, two, three, yeah, five. So they're doing pretty good. Cactus plant right here. It's growing pretty good. I ain't got no more pots or nothing right now. So I ain't been able to transplant nothing, but when I get on to that, I will. Dragon fruit right there is doing okay. Like it's trying to make another cactus. Angel exotic plants really grown this summer. Especially this one. This is the one I, um, gosh. This is the one I bought from the store and planted myself. I had cut it down and it's finally grown back. Because I gave a lot of it away because I had so much of it. And then this one right here I got from Sweet Brenda Land, a dear friend of mine that does YouTube. This plant right here is taking off pretty good too, the olive plant. Ooh, mosquitoes get away from me. <laughs> and as we go down here, I told you guys in the, I don't know if it was the last video or short that the mom passed on, but she left me some babies and there's three of them still growing strong, so. Ooh, looks like only two now, but that's to be expected. But yeah, those are her offsprings. Y'all, it's human today. And then down here, I bought a jade plant finally from Aldi yesterday when I was there. I actually got this, ban the bamboo plant ain't in there no more, but I still keep it for like... I get a wasp that likes to drink water out of there, so... I just come and let it do its thing. Succulent down there. And then back here is my fall projects. Cilantro, I got one seed coming up already. And then I got quite a bill of dill coming up. These are my fall gardening. These are mainly herbs and then the other two that has not bloomed yet is two types of parsley, so I'm not even going to bring those out because I just planted those two yesterday. But these right here are doing good, the uh, deal and the uh, cilantro. And then I got the uh, radishes, which is part of my fall project too, which is doing really good. These got a hand start because I planted most of these in July, but I did plant some more in here for August. I got chewed on a little bit by a cut worm, but luckily I caught it in time and gave it to one of my spiders. Right here is a pepper plant, which is doing really good. The sturgeon, this is the only one that's doing good, that's thriving. So hopefully I get some flowers out of that one at least. But yeah, there's a pepper plant. Right here are carrots. I just planted those, so I'm not expecting anything to pop up just yet. Here's this plant right here. It's still growing super well. And then this is another plant I got from, a, from Brenda Land. And look, y'all. Uh, babies are coming in. I think I might have showed that last week, but yeah. I got babies growing in this bad boy, so super stoked about that. I had caught a cutworm in here too. 
And like I said, I give them to my spiders. And then right here is my pothos plant, which is going crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to definitely cut some of this and give it to some of my good friends in the fall. Or winter. To some of my really close friends. Around here. Because that is getting really long. Super stoked. No complaints. So that's for sure. And this one is doing really good too. Kalingia, Kalugia, something like that. That's what the name of this plant is, but it's a monster now. I think I've been giving it so much fertilizer. Wow. Thanksgiving cap this plant. Looked like it is trying to put it on some bloom in August, but that's not the first time it happens. Sometimes they do bloom here twice a year. Y'all, right here, I got my broccoli. Super excited. That's part of my fall project. Pepper. Instead of growing. About to give it some more fertilizer. And next week or so. The banana. Pepper plant. And these nasturtiums are not doing so good in here. And then last but not least, we got more pepper plants. And then a catnip right there. And here's where I'm going to end the video right here, y'all. Um, if you like these type of videos, pets and plants... Please feel free to give me a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you ain't already, and please hit the notification bell so you get every single video that comes out. Until the next one, may you have such a blessed day. Please stay safe out there. May God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.